Okay, so today we're going to be working with inequalities. Now, inequalities are slightly different than equations. For the most part, they're going to act the exact same, but an inequality is, there's a fundamental difference. So say, for example, when we're solving an equation, um, we get, most of the time, we get an exact answer. X equals 5, X equals 7, X equals 15, all right? And sometimes in, uh, in real life, there's going to be situations where an answer is going to be exact. Like if you uh, are checking out from, uh, from a, your dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings, right? You get a bill, and that is an exact amount on that bill, all right? And so that's going to be an equation. Sometimes, though, there's going to be an inequality situation. Like let's say that you're in charge of a business, and you have a budget. And your budget says you can spend no more than... $200 on snacks for this party. Well, $200 is the most you could spend, so you could spend $200, but maybe you only spend $190, and that's okay. Uh, maybe you only spend $150, and that's okay. Maybe you only spend $25, and that's probably not okay, because you're going to have more people that are hungry than that. So... Anyway, you get the idea. And inequality can have more than one answer, can have many, many, many different answers to it. Well, an equation only has one, typically. So let's look at some of these. And the first thing that we're going to do is kind of get a picture of what it means to have more than one solution. So this, one, this first one says x is less than 15. Well, I'm, I've got a number line here, and I'm just going to put 15 right here in the middle. If this had been x equals 15, it'd be no problem. I'd just put a dot right there at x equals 15 to show that that's the answer. But this says x is less than 15. So the first difference is instead of putting a dot there, I'm going to put a circle there. Okay, and my circle's really bad, but you get the idea. So this circle, um, an open circle, means that that answer is not included in it. Okay, so 15 for this problem is not going to be included in our answer. So that's the first thing. Draw a circle where the number is. Uh, the next thing that you have to do is look at the sign right here. I want to imagine that sign like an arrow. So if this were an arrow, there would be a line coming right out of there like that. You see how I made that an arrow, turned it into an arrow? Let me show you again. I'm just going to turn this into an arrow right here. Now, you see how the arrow is pointing to the left? So what that means is I'm going to come down to 15 and also make an arrow coming out of it pointing to the left. All right, let's think about what this signifies. So 15, this would be 14, 13, 12, 11. All right, all of those numbers are part of that line. And so all of those numbers are part of our solution, okay? X is less than 15. Does that make sense with those numbers? Well, sure. 14 is less than 15. 13 is less than 15. 12 is less than 15. 11 is less than 15. 15 is not less than 15, though. That's why it's an open circle. It's not a part of the answer. Let's look at the next one. So I've got X is greater than or equal to negative 4. So once again, I'm going to put a circle right there at negative 4. Uh, this time, though, the arrow is pointing to the right. So I've got to make my arrow come out and point to the right. Now, remember the open circle means it's not that negative 4 is not a part of this answer. I want to call your attention to one thing. You see that extra mark underneath the inequality sign? That sign means equals to. So what this really says is x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Well, if x could be equal to negative 4, we want that to be a part of the answer. And the way we're going to show that is by filling that circle in. So on the top, where it's not a part of the answer, that open circle means it's, it's not a part of the answer. On the bottom, the filled in circle, the dark circle, means that it is a part of the answer, okay? So as you're doing these, just a couple things. Just, um, first of all, extra mark, make it dark. If there's that extra mark underneath there, you need to fill it in and make sure that your arrow is following the arrow on the inequality sign. Let's do another one. Right here, x minus 8 is less than 15. Now, this time, um, we're going to actually have to solve for x, but don't worry, this is going to be just like an equation. So what am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to add the 8 to the other side, right? Cross the line, change the sign. So this is just going to be x is less than 23. So just come here, call any one of these 23, and that's going to be an open circle pointing to the, follow the arrow now, pointing to the left. 
So anything less than 23 is a part of the answer. Anything less than 23 will make that inequality true. Let's look at the next one. Uh, how do I solve that for x? Well, just subtract the 15 over, and I'm just going to get x is greater than or equal to that looks like it's going to be negative 19. So negative 19, let's just call this negative 19. Um, follow the arrow. This is going to be going to the right. And there's the extra mark under it. Extra mark, make it dark. Negative 19 is included in this, in this solution. So again, just solve it. One, one step equation, cross the line, change the sign. Um, if there's the extra mark, make it dark. And make sure that your arrow is following the arrow of the sign. Okay, now let's look at this. Uh, let's solve this one. So we've got x over 4, x divided by 4 is less than 15. Well, how do we get rid of a divide? What's the opposite of divide? Multiply. So let's just multiply the 4 to the other side. We'll have x is less than or equal to, I'm sorry, x is less than 60. So just come over, make a mark at 60. And that's going to be an open circle, and that arrow is pointing to the left. Okay, if I just imagine this having an arrow there, that arrow is pointing to the left. So that's what we've got. All right, now, starting at the next one, it's going to get a little bit trickier because equations and inequalities are solved the exact same way with one exception. With an inequality, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. One more time, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. So let's look at this next one. How do I solve this? Well, uh, first of all, I see there's a negative, so I'm kind of wondering in my mind, am I going to have to change some stuff here? But let's look at the x. How do I solve that for x? I need to divide the 3 over. I need to divide. I need to divide both sides by 3. I need to divide both sides by 3. So we've got x, negative 9 divided by 3 is going to be negative 3. Now, here's the question. Do I flip the sign? Because remember what I said, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. So as I look at this problem, I'm taking negative 9 divided by positive 3. So even though the 9 is negative, that doesn't matter. I divided by positive 3, therefore the sign is going to stay the same. So let's come over here. The answer is negative 3. It's going to be a filled in circle, extra mark, make it dark, and that arrow is pointing to the right. So x is greater than or equal to 3, and that's our graph. Let's look at this next one. So I've got x divided by, or negative x divided by 4. Now this negative sign can go wherever we want. It can go top, it can stay in the middle, it can come on the bottom. I'm going to think about just sliding that to the bottom. It makes absolutely no difference. It's all the same. So let's go through this. Uh, x divided by negative 4, well, we know how to do that. Let's multiply the, other, multiply the negative 4 to the other side. We're going to have x. 15 times negative 4, that's going to be negative 60. Now, we multiplied both sides by negative 4. So in this case, the 15 is positive, but that doesn't matter. What matters is we multiplied by a negative number. So since we multiplied or divided by a negative number, we have to flip the sign. So instead of being less than, this is now greater than. x is greater than negative 6. That's going to be an open circle, and the arrow is pointing to the right. All right, let's look at this next one. Negative 3x is greater than or equal to negative 9. Well, divide both sides by negative 3. And negative 9 divided by negative 3 is going to be a positive 3. But since we divided by a negative number, we're going to have to flip this sign. And that's going to be x is less than or equal to 3. So come to 3, All less than or equal to, and the arrow is pointing left. All right, so remember, the key word here is by. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, then you have to flip the sign. That's the only difference between solving an equation and solving an inequality. Okay, I know you got this. Good luck.